And then he said, turn around. You're beautiful when it's your voice, but even more beautiful when it's your eyes, too. You always knew what to say. No, I could never leave him. Not for real. And no matter who I've dated, he's always had a piece of me. A piece that I can't get back because he owns a corner of my soul. And he knows it. The hardest thing is the etiquette. Take my plate. Do you scoop a fork full of beans and hope you don't leave red specks of bean juice on your new shirt? Or do you take it slow and carefully place the beans on a delicately carved corner of toast, creating a bite-sized hammock of goodness? That's just beans on toast. What the hell's the right way to get a woman to date you? Power breakfast, post power abs. A dawn crack sesh with the BT makes Keith a happy boy. In shower. Splash of Armani's finest masks and boom, power. It's not an accident that I am wearing the finest that Savile Row can spit out. It's not an accident that I am huge, dressed to the left, and always wear my shirt tucked in. Power is a process. I need you to respect my broad frame, and off the peg, just won't cut it. I need you to know that I am gifted in both length and girth. Makes you listen. And that lump tells you I'm a real man. I could easily just not turn up, bug the trend, skip the norm. Yeah, no, we both know that that's not gonna happen though. He's gorgeous. He has this hair that falls across his forehead like Clark Kent. <gasps> It makes me just want to rip open his shirt to see if there's a huge spandex onesie underneath his M&S two-piece. Or maybe just nipple. Smooth, hairless man nipple. Oh. Bastard. He knows I'm a fan. A grown woman hanging on his every word, ignoring all the advice of my mates that he's a user. A non-permittal twat who's all talk. <sighs> but he does have an incredible... Sausage. That would totally throw me, so I'll keep it simple. Beans, toast, simple. But why does everything else have to be so hard? Just one evening, a few hours, in the company of someone new. What would you wear? What do you say? How do you see on a second day? How do you get her to not leave after nine minutes? It's happened before. I just want tonight to be... Different. Normal. Intense. A firm handshake, followed by a plate of dead cow. Mm. Addie Lee, my place. Katie Mellua, on the Sonos. <gasps> Snake pit. I don't write the rules, it's natural order. You know, some people take what they're given, I prefer to buy it. Why well, work at impressing a woman when you can select the suitable, have her delivered to your preferred location, and get exactly what you paid for? I mean, if I'm going to be the architect of my date night, then I'm going to damn well get what I want. This is the real world. I'm not a modern man, I am an honest man, and that is what men want. Only difference is, I can afford to pay for it. I'm a... Dickhead, son of a... He's cancelled. It's Thursday. It's our one night a week and he's cancelled. I was on all fours yesterday while some Chinese woman who I barely know was ripping strips of my garden away. For his pleasure, not mine. <sighs> Cheeky bastard. I probably have better luck with Mr. Cole plate of beans or shoulder pads over there. I bloody hate. Date night. Too much pressure. I'd rather avoid women and therefore the first date altogether. Simple. Clean. That way the start would almost always be easier. You might as well just call it. A waste of a bloody painful wax. Good business. The end. <laughs>